This video covers some things you should be aware of about wireless. In this particular case, we have a Holiday Coro Hinkspix Pro, and this Hinkspix Pro has a wireless interface, and this Falcon controller has a wireless interface. Now, first you should understand that not all wireless interfaces are created equal. And even in these two controllers, we have different interfaces. Be aware that wireless has different types of protocols and different speeds on those protocols. And those may be known by N or A or B uh, 802.11s. So, Another factor is the actual type of module. Now in this particular case, this module is a pre-built module, as is this module. Now the interface is used to interface and the choke point between these modules and their faster processors differs. Now in this Falcon controller, it's significantly smaller of an interface between this Wi-Fi interface and this device that actually controls it and the Hinkspix Pro and its CPU. Now, that said, this may limit your ability to send data. In this particular controller, it's next to impossible to send any significant amount of data through Wi-Fi to this device to run the controller in E131 ArtNet DDP mode. Now, on this device, this does have a stronger and larger bandwidth connection, and it has the ability to stream more data to the controller, but not at its maximums. Neither of these controllers can output the maximum number of their pixels, which can be as high as 15,000, and still take data across this. Now, again, we have the limits of the data going from the device to the CPU, but we also have the limits of the protocol and the connection it's making. So, while you see limits of maybe 50 megabits of data, in reality, the vast majority of limits on wireless are significantly smaller than that. And often when you see these numbers quoted, they're one way. They may not necessarily be both ways. Now, other problems with using wireless in a, wire, in a display for synchronous data. Now, let's back up a second. What is synchronous data? Synchronous data is where we're sending data from some external source, either a player or from a computer, laptop, something, and we're sending it to these devices. That means that when we generate the data, immediately, milliseconds later, it is consumed and turned into a pixel turning on and off. That means that there's almost no difference, just like electricity, generated, used instantaneously at the same time. Same thing with pixels. Data is generated, a data is consumed. That means that we have very low tolerance for latency or missed data. Now, if you compare that against, let's say watching your favorite YouTube video, where you see the buffering or Netflix, and you see the little twirl, that is a buffer. That means that the data has been downloaded ahead of you watching it and is stored locally on the device and then fed out to you as you watch the video. So if your internet connection, including a wireless connection, is not that great, it won't affect your viewing. It means that it'll be okay if somebody starts a large download and starts consuming all your wireless bandwidth for a period of time. Now, so, what does that mean? It means, first of all, we have limits in bandwidth, how much data we can push to the controller. Then we also have outside interference, which causes latency. That's the delay of the data going to the device. Both of these together, combined with the network interfaces going from the devices that receive the data to the CPU all combine together to create some bad mojo. That means we just can't usually send a huge amount of data reliably to these devices over Wi-Fi. Now, why do these devices have Wi-Fi? Now, there's a little bit of history here. This device right here, the Falcon, is a copy of its prior brother, the Hinks Pix Pro Original, the first version, which had Wi-Fi and play on controller. That means the sequence is stored on an SD card and plays from the controller. Now, the Wi-Fi was originally put in to make it so that those devices could talk to one another. So if you had multiple CPUs, you could have each controller keep in sync with just a simple piece of data keeping them in sync, not sending the data of the whole sequence, but simply just sending a keep alive or sync signal between them.
Now that was also the theory here. Unfortunately, this one was a copy of the original and so it didn't quite work out well and that functionality doesn't really work on this device. So really this Wi-Fi is really only useful on this particular Falcon controller for the purposes of accessing, let's say, the web interface. I wouldn't try to do much else with it. This web interface, uh, this Wi-Fi interface, can be used uh, for sending data to the controller in certain limited amounts and also um, uh, accessing the web interface. Now, the gold standard here is always going to be this Cat5 cable. It's cheap, it's accessible, it goes everywhere, and yeah, I know sometimes it can be a little bit of a problem to get from point A to point B, but it's very fast, it's very reliable, and when somebody starts downloading something on the network next to you in your house across the street, it doesn't affect your Wi-Fi signal any. It's completely isolated from them. And all modern controllers have network switches built into them, so you can daisy chain them from one to the other, creating a daisy chain network. So it's not as hard as it used to be with network switches. So we always recommend a wired network over a wireless. Now, can you do wireless to send data to these controllers? Yes, again, I wouldn't do it on this, but this one is possible. What do you need to do to make that possible? You need to do some testing because it's going to depend on how much data you're generating, where that data is coming from, and also the network congestion and other factors that are well beyond this controller, such as exclusivity to a network. So if you have a shared network with a whole bunch of other data on it, those controllers have to sync or have to share that bandwidth along with the other devices on the network. So if you're doing wireless, you need to do your homework, plan everything out, test, 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 and then use wireless. If you're not sure, use the cable. You'll be much happier.